Hi everybody, this is James with the Pygum Bot Development Team and uh, I want to bring to you a guide or a how to scrape Google for thousands of results, uh, tens of thousands of results in uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes. And uh, what I, as you can see here, I have keywords loaded in the Pygum Bot and it doesn't matter the scraper that you're using. You can use G Scraper, Scrape Box, GSA, uh, but the things that matter here are using proxies. Now the technique I'm going to show is really similar to the technique that I showed in a video I uploaded December 2015 uh, called How to Scrape Google Really Fast with HMA, except for this time we're going to use proxies. Uh, for this specific application, you're going to want to use either uh, dedicated private proxies that are IP authenticated or you can use public proxies. The proxies that you see here on the left are public proxies uh, that this technique worked for. Uh, I've beat these proxies up now, so I want to give them some rest. So for this video test, I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you with uh, private dedicated proxies. So as you can see, I have 20 keywords loaded. I'm going to load up my uh, proxies uh, right now into the application. Uh, we got to make sure that we check the check proxies bark. I'm just going to leave the default settings here. Uh, I'm going to actually for this test turn off the throttle so you guys can see how fast uh, this application can actually f uh, scrape Google. And I'm also going to check mark and enable the manual Google solve captcha option under the more settings uh, link. Uh, with that said, uh, let me uh, get started on this scrape um, and you can see exactly how this is going on. So I have a timer here that I'm going to get started and as you can see right away on the very first uh, run a CAPTCHA was thrown and uh, we're going to sit here for 15-20 minutes and solve these CAPTCHAs see how many results that we can get um, really fast. Uh, a lot of people scrape, especially this application that we're using here for scraping, scrape with a footprint and we've seen over time that Google has become a little bit more strict with using footprints and search queries uh, and also trying to collect uh, a lot of information or scraping from Google. Um, so using the CAPTCHA, the Google CAPTCHA solving is, is highly important to being able to scrape super fast um, as well as being able to uh, get the results that you want to get for your, your campaigns, whether you're gathering lists or you're uh, contacting webmasters or whatever you're doing scraping Google. Uh, you want to make sure that you have some type of feature in the scraper that's going to allow uh, for CAPTCHA solving. Um, periodically through this video because I do want to keep it relatively short uh, I am going to pause the video from time to time and then I'll uh, resume the video when something significant happens or just to update uh, again you see here uh, that we have uh, a CAPTCHA thrown I'm going to solve this real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video here for a moment Alright, so just checking back in here really quickly a few minutes into this uh, scrape. Um, we have a couple captures here that have popped up. But you can see that just within a few minutes we've, we've already uh, retrieved over 3,000 results. And uh, we are, for this purpose, using generic keywords. Um, however, uh, you'll notice that we are including the duplicate URLs in our totality of, of sites that we're scraping because uh, these would be links that would be scraped. They just so happen to be duplicates of ones already scraped. Uh, so we're moving along here really fast. We're 10 minutes into the scrape now. Uh, you see that we're well above 10,000 um, sites scraped, uh, close to 12 actually, 12,000 sites just within 10 minutes of scraping. Um, every couple minutes there's a capture being thrown up I'm just sitting here in the background uh, working um, on my desktop while I'm using this um, so now we're we're halfway 15 minutes into the scrape and what we have going on is close to 20,000 URLs scraped 
uh, using these private dedicated proxies. Um, and if you guys are interested or have questions or comments, give us a call back. Um, you see t uh, 20 minutes into the scrape, um, we near completion and, and now we're uh, at uh, 20,000, 25,000 results scraped pretty much and the scrape is, is now completed. So if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, yes, please definitely uh, leave your questions or comments uh, under this video. Uh, we're going to ask them. Some key essential things to scraping Google really fast is having working proxies that are either going to be public that actually work um, or private dedicated proxies and um, that's what I'm using for this specific test but the proxies on the left as I mentioned before uh, were public proxies I did the exact same uh, technique was able to scrape uh, large amounts of data just as in this example here so uh, also, CAPTCHA solving is highly important, so no matter what uh, scraper that you're using, either some way have uh, manual CAPTCHA solving enabled or if there's an auto feature that uses some type of CAPTCHA solving service. And then obviously, doing this technique, you will notice that we did turn the throttle off, so the throttle wasn't uh, enabled. Uh, by default, this specific application, PygonBot, does have a throttle enabled at uh, 60 seconds. But uh, that would be a little bit gruesome sitting here manually solving CAPTCHA with a 60 second delay and the technique works great so the main the most important thing is uh, that uh, you do it fast um, and you're getting the results quickly and if you do this and as you can see we rock through 20 keywords in 20 minutes that's an average of one keyword per minute and uh, if you load a lot of keywords in this you sit around for an hour or so maybe maybe an hour and a half just fill out captures you can quickly have over a hundred thousand lists anyway Good luck on your campaigns.